Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Barrett. This is Capsule Closet Stylist. I help people build capsule wardrobes that mix and match easily, saving them time, money and space. So if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I did a video very recently telling women how to determine their body shape. <clears throat> During that video, I talked about how to measure themselves properly so they could determine what type of body shape they were. Then I went through several recommendations based on colour, style, fabric and cut so that they could make really informed decisions and enhance their best features and skim over those areas they weren't quite so happy about. Well, today I want to do the same for the men. So first up, I'm going to go through how to measure yourself accurately because having the correct fitting clothes makes a huge difference in how clothes look on you. And then towards the end, I'm going to give you lots of tips on how you can make the most of your features too. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to consider when determining your body type and thinking about clothes that might suit you is your height. Now, you can't really measure your height yourself. You need to get somebody else to do it for you. So make sure the back of your heels, take your shoes off, back of your heels are pushed right up against the wall, sit flat again, or sit foot flat, stand flat against the wall and have your head straight and have somebody measure you down the wall from the top of your head. That's the first tip. Get your height. Now the next one thing we want to measure to determine your body type is your chest measurement. Now the best way to do this, again, is quite difficult to do yourself. It is better if you can get somebody else to do it for you. So what I recommend you do, it's a little bit cheeky, but go into somewhere where you can get uh, suits made or something like that and say you know you're interested in having a suit made and was wondering whether you could be measured up and ask somebody to measure you up this is one of the best ways to get those measurements alternatively ask a partner or a friend to do it for you because what you need to do is you need to measure around two inches below your armpit so you sit the tape measure really flat to your body make sure it's not twisted at the back right the way through where your nipple area is and uh, take that measurement but the best way to do that is with your arms down, which is why it's quite difficult to do for yourself. Because of course, if you've got your arms up like this and you're holding it, you know, you're not get your arms relaxed. So if you can get somebody else to do it and write down that measurement alongside your height. Next up, we want to measure our waist measurement. Again, a really important measurement to determine what type of body type you are. Now, the way in which we do that, this is one you probably can do yourself, but one thing I will say to you, I said exactly the same thing to the women, don't breathe in, don't hold your stomach in, because all you're doing is lying to yourself. We all want to just get it right. So let your stomach relax, like I said, have a lovely cup of tea or a beer, whatever it is you, you need to do, but relax when you take that measurement. Now, make sure the measurement, again, the, the tape measure is flat against your body, it's not twisted at the back at all, and the way in which you do it is you measure it around where your tummy button is. So take it from the back, right the way round, and take the measurement around where your tummy button is, and write that measurement down too. Next up is an extra measurement, particularly for men, uh, is your inside leg. Again, this is another one that's pretty impossible to do on your own because, of course, you can imagine you're kind of holding the top of the tape here and then you're sort of bending down to be able to see where it hits um, uh, by your foot, which isn't helpful either. So, I mean, if you're really, really pushed, you can measure trousers that you know hit your... Uh, um, ankle correctly but the only problem with that is is so the the seat like which is kind of the the top part of your trousers where your crotch area is sometimes that's lower sometimes it's higher so taking that measurement wouldn't necessarily be accurate in terms of your inside leg so it's best to actually measure your inside leg I find this measurement in all my time of doing this job is the one which men tend to get wrong the most 
Um, so it is the one which if you can get somebody else to take that measurement and ask them what it is because what they'll do is they'll do it in a way so that your, your trousers or um, sit just comfortably on top of your shoes and they're not dragging down at the back they're not wrinkling at the bottom of your leg or they're not too sure because all of those aspects of making you look your best are so important to make you look sophisticated and well put together um, you know th this this thing with trousers is, is a really really common thing so yes if you can get somebody else to take that measurement then that's great now this next measurement isn't massively important in terms of uh, your body type but I still think it gives us an indication so take your neck measurement as well now the reason why the neck measurement is obviously really good is if you're buying shirts or you're buying more formal wear it's always quite good to have an idea of that and what you can do as well is once you get all these measurements together <clears throat> you can start to look at where you average out in, in terms of your the ratio between your neck measurement to your chest your chest to your waist you know that's kind of what we're going to be looking at so yeah take your neck measurement you could probably do that yourself um and uh write that one down so now you've got all those measurements down there's lots of information out there about the different types of body types for men. But essentially, they come in like what is pretty much inverted triangle, which is this straight across the top. So in other words, you're wider across the top and come in at the waist. Um, then there's the opposite to that, which is where you've usually got a bit of a tummy and you go out a little bit at the bottom half. And then there's the other one, which is much more rectangular. They tend to be quite basic with men. I think that's a shame because I think there's a lot more nuances within that. But this will give you a general kind of idea. So what we're trying to do with anything we do is it's all about balance and it's all about like i said skimming over areas you're not so happy with and then hearts in areas you are so let's say for example a really common area on men that they're not happy with is around the tummy <clears throat> One of the worst things that you can do is to buy fabrics that cling to you. So anything that's got a stretch in it usually clings to you or it's got a decent stretch in it, particularly jersey, like a lightweight jersey. Um, you you want to probably avoid anything like that. Um, then also... Um, anything that's too massive because the other flip side which women commonly do as well is they drown themselves in really baggy fabric to try and hide the fact that they are big in certain areas that's another thing you want to avoid doing as well so when we're looking at body shapes what we're doing is we're looking at balancing out kind of the top to the bottom so if you have got a bit of a tummy, then it, what, we, what we need to do, eventually I'm gonna to talk to you now about fabrics, I'm gonna to talk to you about cuts, I'm gonna to talk to you about colors, and how you can kind of enhance your best features. But what you should do is look at your measurements <clears throat> and look at the ratio, for example, of let's say your neck measurement to your chest, chest measurement, and look at what shirts, like the average size shirt, so let's say a 15 and a half neck shirt, what that usually correlates to in a chest and sometimes i think that's usually about a 40 odd um, inch chest it depends on the brand but but look at what that kind of average ratio is and see if you're the ratio you are at is pretty pretty common so what that means is then that your neck area to your chest area is uh pretty standard now if you have to get a bigger neck shirt because to accommodate your tummy then that means you're probably more likely this type of um, measurement again if you have to get a shirt because you're very broad across the top it probably means you're more that type of shape so an inverted triangle type shape so have a look and kind of think about your body in those shapes i be very rectangular so straight up and down triangle or inverted triangle which is kind of like that like that yeah flat the bottom and yeah so have a think about how you think where you think your body sits then what we can do is next i'm going to talk to you about how you can maybe enhance your best features and balance your body out Now, I don't know whether any of you have heard of colour analysis, I'm sure you have, but actually colour can play a huge part for lots of different reasons in how clothes look on you.
Um, the first thing is that it can make your skin look really vibrant or shallow, or shallow, sallow rather. Um, it can also kind of make you look more healthy. Um, it means that it bounces off your skin color better. It enhances your best features. It can bring your eyes out. It can, it can blend with your hair. There's so many different things that knowing what colors work for you work really, really well. But in regards to this particular subject, the reason why it's good to know your colors is because you can use color to skim over areas that you're not so happy with and highlight areas you are. <clears throat> So let's say, for example, you've had a color analysis done. I do a color analysis and I have, I don't sell the two products separately. I have a color analysis and a body type style guide. And the reason why I do that and I sell them together is because I think they're both interwoven and they're a really good way for anybody to make much more informed decisions about the clothing they buy. And particularly if you go into a shop and you just look at it and you're like, I don't even know where to start. It helps people focus on building up a color palette. So you choose a color palette from those colors because you know all of them work for you. And it gives you an idea in terms, of, in, in terms of cuts and styles that suit that particular body shape. So I identify your body shape for you. <clears throat> so the reason why color works for this as well is so in very broad terms, if you have an area you are not so happy with, go darker. If you have an area you are, are happy with, go lighter or brighter. And it's really that, really the, quite that simple. So um, keep it darker on areas you want to skim over, but don't go really tight or over like too much fabric. And, uh, and then go lighter or brighter in areas you are happy with. So um, if you're interested in uh, color analysis or anything like that, I'll give you some more details at the end of um, this video so that you can get in touch with me and maybe book in for a consultation. We can have a chat. So the next area you want to look at, I've briefly kind of mentioned this, but is fabrics. Now, it will make a difference what fabrics you wear. Now, I know if you particularly if you live in a seasonal climate, there are some times of the year where you're going to be wearing thicker fabrics and there are other times of the year where you're going to be wearing lighter fabrics. But what you want to think about is um, two things, really. The stretch in it, if it's very lightweight and it's very stretchy, it is going to cling to everything. So if you've got you've been working out and you've got really broad muscles at the top and you want to show them off, that is the fabric for you. Or by the opposite end of the spectrum, if you've got a bit of a tummy and you're very conscious of it and you want to skim over it, you want to avoid that fabric as much as possible. You want something a little bit more structured. And what I mean by structured is probably woven. So um, the best way to describe this is usually um, like woven fabric is like your shirt fabric and then knitted fabric is usually like jersey which is t-shirts maybe football t-shirts um, and then obviously any actual knitwear so that kind of thing tends to cling more than a woven fabric which is um, usually um, shirts you do sometimes get jersey shirts but they'll the, re the way you'll be able to tell is they'll be quite floppy when you hold them the actual shirt will hang quite like that you know like a t-shirt does if you hold a shirt up it kind of has more structure to it than a t-shirt does so um, if you do have a bit of tummy you probably want to avoid that the other thing you want to do is as much as possible obviously climate permitting you want to avoid too much bulk around areas that you're already conscious and that are a bit big anyway because all you're doing is adding extra inches you're not covering up you're just making yourself look bigger so try not to do that as well and you know one of the other things that I see quite common commonly in this women do this too is when someone's got a bit of a tummy they wear a big baggy top and pull it down right over over um, to the hip area and all that does is make you look that size all the way down so if possible if possible have some sort of definition at your waist um, so yeah so with um, the fabrics try and avoid jersey particularly on any areas that you are really conscious about just have things fit properly like I said these measurements are so important because you can now look at clothes when you go and buy them and you can see whether you know it whether something is going to be st too stretched across here or whether it's going to be too stretched across your tummy because all that does when it is stretched it just heart enhances that area if you want that then that's great but if you don't it's not 
So next up, uh, another way in which you can um, create that balance and draw the eye away from areas you're not so happy with is detail. Now this, obviously women have a lot more that they tend to put on, more tends to be more than men, but the way in which you can do this, so let's say again it is a tummy area, I'm just using this as an example, I know it's quite common with men, um, so let's say it's a tummy area you're a bit conscious about and you've looked at your fabrics, you've got a great shirt that fits you really nicely, it's not too tight around your tummy and all that, but you still want to do a little bit more. So what I would do if you're going very corporate, I'd have something interesting about your tie, um, something around your neck, it could be a piece of jewellery, it could be headwear, it could be um, even earrings or anything, but something, even or it could be detailing on the top of a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or um, anything like that. One, one um, item that works quite well actually is the Breton stripe. Now the Breton stripe is, you know the tops where they've got stripes across the bottom here and then there's usually a white panel across the top. If you have um a big bigger tummy that you're a little bit conscious of that could work quite well because you'll have a big block of white across the top what you want to try and do is draw the eye away from that tummy area so keep it dark keep it simple the other thing i didn't mention actually with fabrics and men don't tend to wear so many shiny fabrics but anything that's got satin in it or nylon in it, or not just nylon in it, but it tends to catch the light differently, fake leathers, anything like that that's fitted in any area you are not happy with wouldn't do you any favours because the way the light catches it, it just enhances that area. So keep it matte, keep it dark, okay? But with the detailing, it could be that there's something interesting about the inside of the collar on your shirt. So maybe, you know, the collar stand has got an, um, an alternative fabric on it or something like that. So just think about detailing on that. It could be double cuffs. You might like your double cuffs. Anything that draws that eye either here or here or here away from that tummy area. So this is another thing that you can do. You can talk about, you can think about colours which we talked about. You can think about fabrics and you can also think about the little details. Last but not least, if you're still struggling and you do genuinely worry about your wardrobe, get in touch with me. I'm happy to have a chat to you. You can go to capturecloisetstylist.com. In the top right hand corner, you'll see book a free consultation. Um, book a consultation with me. We can have a chat about your needs. Um, depending on where you are, I can either come to you or, um, or we can do the whole thing uh, online. Don't even have to tell anybody. Nobody even know, needs to know that you've had it done. Um, the bottom line service that I offer is a colour analysis and a body type style guide which identifies what colours you work um, that work for you and also identifies the types of cuts of clothes which work for you which means when you go into a shop you're so much more informed because if you choose always you should suggest you choose around eight colours for your colour palette initially you go into a shop and you're like okay I know I need a pair of medium waisted straight leg navy blue trousers with no pleats at the front for example that are flat fronted so it just means you know or i'm looking for a slim um lightweight v-neck navy blue jumper rather than a chunky knit kind of fisherman style jumper or something like that it really helps you become more informed not only that but i can do the shopping for you online or in person so get in touch if you really are struggling there is no reason why you should be struggling i know there is so much more information out there for women than there is for men but there is no reason why <clears throat> any of these services can't work for you too as I have previous clients. So I hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe below if you have. Um, let your friends know if you think you can. And um, let me know below what else you'd like to see, particularly um, for men actually. You know, is there an area that you think there's a gap for that you have can't get the information that you need? I'm more than happy to help. Anyway, have a wonderful week. I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye.